Konnichiwa. This is the socially distant and now under curfew Shogunstein. And this is just a look at a book that I found out about by listening to the Jocko podcast. And that is Dan Peterson's Top Gun, an American story. And it is from Hatchet Books. So I was on my ruck last week or two weeks ago. And on the Jocko podcast, they had on Dan Peterson, who was one of the founders of Top Gun. And they read excerpts of the book and went into more detail of the story of naval aviation from the Vietnam War through the early 80s, with a big part of it, the Top Gun program. It was a over four-hour podcast and to be honest with you, it could have gone on another four hours and I would have just kept rucking, would have kept walking. It was extremely, extremely interesting. Dan Peterson's story, not just the actual Top Gun school, but just his story in general was so interesting and so inspiring. So a lot of people know about Top Gun from the movie with Tom Cruise. And then uh, at some point, the sequel is supposed to to come out, but to be honest with you, you know, you know, I like the movie. I'm a big fan of the movie. The stories he was telling on the podcast and was reading from this book were crazier and more interesting than even the made-up stuff in Top Gun. And again, that's no knock on Top Gun, but this was a great example of the real stuff actually being more interesting and again just. Uh, more unbelievable than the, than the fiction, the, the fact being uh, greater than the, the fiction. So uh, in the podcast, he talked about how the uh, tactics at the beginning of the Vietnam War that both the Air Force and the Navy were using were not uh, modern enough, and especially with the idea of uh, dogfighting. So a lot of uh, what he talked about on the podcast and what they were reading from the book was at least uh, from what... Peterson was saying the Navy, before the Air Force, made the changes that were needed. And the opening of the Top Gun School was a, a major part of changing their, their tactics. And he talked about at the end of the podcast how the, uh, the ratio of uh, down fighters from the, the Americans and the, the North Vietnamese was very different at the end of the war than it was at the beginning of the, the war. Now, one of the other things that was extremely interesting about the discussion, and again, they were reading from the book, they read parts of it, and, uh, you know, he didn't read the whole, Jocko didn't read the whole book, but he read enough of it that I went out and, and got the, the book, and now that I can't go out for the next week past uh, 8 o'clock, see, we just finally got out of... Uh, the lockdown, and now we're in the curfew. I'm going to be uh, looking to read the uh, parts that Jocko didn't cover in the the podcast. But one of the things, and, and as me as as an educator, one of the things that I really got out of the discussion that they had on the podcast and from reading the book was the idea of the school was not for someone to be the top pilot, kind of like the the, the movie made it seem. What Dan Peterson kept emphasizing in the podcast was the idea was for them to send pilots to this school, learn all these advanced tactics, and then bring it back to the other pilots, which has a great educational message about what you know I should be doing in, in the classroom, just that sort of that same sort of uh, mindset that the idea is to teach people to be the teachers of other people. It's a, a great philosophy. And I really took away, again, I'm not a military person. I'm never going to be a, a pilot. I don't have a military background. But that whole idea of giving people this training and then training them to be the trainers of the other people is just a, a great concept that hopefully when we get back to the classroom, I'm going to be able to, to, to bring so I highly recommend the uh, that Jocko podcast. I think there's only been maybe one or two since, so maybe it was 229 or 230. I think the latest podcast is 231, where they were even talking about some of the issues that were brought up in, in the Peterson podcast. So maybe it was 230. 
But the excerpts that they read were, were very, very exciting. And it went all the way up to the, the beginning of the Reagan era when uh, Peterson uh, left the, the Navy. So it goes from you know, him being trained by people who were uh, veterans of the, the Korean War through to the early 1980s. So I'm very excited to, to read this book. Again, it is called Dan Peterson, the founder of Top Gun, and the, the name of the book is Top Gun, an American Story. And again, uh, not knocking the movie. The movie is very popular. People love the movie. But if you listen to that podcast, and if you, um, based on the excerpts from the book that they read on the podcast, the real story is even more interesting than the, the movie. So uh, Dan Peterson, uh, that was, again, they went on for over four hours, and I could have listened to his stories for another four hours. And Jocko did a great job reading from the, the book. So check it out, An American Story, Top Gun. This is the Shogunstein out. <laughs>